India's position in the World Test Championship, WTC, has taken a hit, and it's like a game of musical chairs where teams juggle around. Let's break it down in simpler terms. So, India was doing well and sitting pretty at the second spot in the WTC points table, just behind Australia. But then, they played a series opener against England in Hyderabad, and things didn't go as planned. India lost the game by 28 runs, and as a result, they tumbled down to the fifth position. Imagine you're playing a video game, and your character was at the top level, but then suddenly it dropped three levels down. That's what happened to India in the WTC table. Before this game, their points percentage was 54.16, but now it's down to 43.33. Ouch! Just a while ago, India had a brief moment of glory. They defeated South Africa in Cape Town and became the table toppers. But guess what? Their joy was short-lived. Australia went on a winning streak against Pakistan, and boom, India was no longer at the top. In the current WTC cycle, India has played five tests. They won two, drew one, and unfortunately lost twice once to South Africa and now to England. Now let's talk about England. Despite beating India, they didn't climb up the ladder. In fact, they went down one spot. Why? Because West Indies pulled off a spectacular win against Australia at the GABA. That victory gave West Indies a major boost in their points percentage, and they surpassed England, claiming the seventh position. It's like a race where one team wins a round, and suddenly another team with a big win shoots ahead. The WTC table keeps changing, and every match has consequences for the teams involved. So, in summary, India's recent loss pushed them down in the WTC standings, and England, despite a victory, found themselves a step lower due to West Indies' impressive performance. The cricket world is full of surprises, and the WTC is no exception. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy our content, consider subscribing to help us grow and continue creating quality videos for you.